morning everyone welcome back to my channel to a brand new video so today we are off to home bargains and it's been a few weeks since we last went to home bargains but since then i've like nipped in a couple of times and there's so much more to see so today we're gonna go and have a little look round again and see if we can spot anything good a little bit funky funky donkey oh there that's better isn't it um yeah do you know what i'm just gonna say it it's a bold statement to make but home bargains i think is my favorite shop of that genre you know like home bargains b m bargains at the moment the range at the moment home bargains is the winner for me they've just got so much to choose from like they've always got new stuff coming in whereas B&M and the range, you kind of see the same things a lot, like even year on year and it gets quite a bit boring, doesn't it? So yeah, it gives me the most inspiration. So I can't wait to go and have a look around there today. And as always, if we pick anything up from today's shop with me, stick around to the end and I will show you, good morning, Ralphie, I will show you at the end of this video. He just really puts me off. Like, oh my gosh, you are so cute, little boy. Good mornings. Good mornings. <laughs> and without further ado, let's just get to home bargains. So we've landed, everybody. We're at home bargains, and I am so excited for this trip. So, yeah, let's get inside, shall we? It started spitting as well. Do you know what? I really love this time of year because look, there's just garden stuff everywhere. The entrance is always filled with like the best plants and they're so affordable. Look at all these roses that you can choose from to grow. Super affordable. And then we've got these, $5.99 for a little pot. These are good if you're doing like a borders, aren't they? Anyway, let's grab a basket because you never know, we might need one. They usually have the same bath stuff on the shelves, but this is new. This glow cleansing body wash. I've never seen that before. Cherry bomb and jasmine bloom. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Oh, wow. I would have gone mad for these when I was a child. We've got these marshmallow style cereals garden party for 189 i think the marshmallow cereal usually is quite expensive and then they've got this pool pot oh guys look at these in the shape of carrots they've got these little orange jelly beans are they jelly beans <laughs> so cute and then they've got these tunnocks tea cakes i only discovered these recently they're like vintage uh brand and they're so nice, they do these dark chocolate ones. And then we've got these Milky Way biscuits. They sound good, don't they? Oh, I could just eat a cup of tea and dip a biscuit in. And then here we've got some more Easter treats. We've got Easter lollipops, a big pack of Easter lollipops. And then we have these Easter bunny marshmallows. I love marshmallows. And as you can see, the first aisle is very random. Now we've got weighted hula hoops and I'm in two minds of whether to get one of those or not. Loads of like fitness things. What is that? A massage gun? <laughs> I just want to get one of them and try it on my husband. He hates being massaged. <laughs> I am an absolute adult and I could totally sit down and paint these little princesses, honestly, and have a craft afternoon. I always get really overwhelmed with the skincare in home bargains, but I've never seen these before. Oh, the drinks. Oh, I didn't realise they were drinks. Collagen beauty drinks. Obviously attracted to the collagen with me being older now. So they've got lots of face masks, the usual suspects. Not seen that one before. Oh, Nivea. I've not seen that one before. I'm always really careful what I'm putting on my face though but these are quite new as well you get three for a pound these mud masks i might have to get me and the girls some of these 
I really need to invest in some heat protection spray. I'm looking to try some different ones, guys. If there's any that you can think of that you like and rate and recommend, then please do let me know in the comments. Schwarzkopf is a good brand, isn't it? And then they've got this got to be one as well. Guardian Angel. So we've got some Mother's Day cards here. Very well presented. There's not one card out of place <laughs> until I came along. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'll try and keep it neat. But look how many they've got. Some nice ones as well. I might have to pick one up. It's on the 10th of March, isn't it? And, you know, I'm all organised this year. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for this one instead. That looks really nice. But they're all really affordable and under a pound. And there's some beautiful designs okay i hope you guys can appreciate me getting down low on the floor but i wanted to have a look at this bunting how cute is this burlap bunting and it's got these carrots on as well i just think that's really sweet if you're doing a garden party i always say if you're doing a garden party because in what capacity would you use all this easter stuff do you know what i mean like who is do the schools celebrate and is that why they have them i don't know there's a lot of Easter stuff around, isn't there? They've got these Easter string lights in egg boxes. We've got happy Easter balloons. And it must sell. So who's using them? And then they've got this honeycomb bunting for £1.49. I like the honeycomb decorations. They've also got these balloons, pack of 10 balloons with some bunnies on as well. All in the pastel colours. Beautiful. Okay, I nearly bit the bullet and got this last time because I just think it looks lovely. Four pounds, it's a little matcha tea set. The only problem is, I don't know if we're going to like this matcha stuff. So, I suppose it's only four pounds to try it, isn't it? But, I don't know. No, no, I'm not going to get it. Is it nice, guys? Have you had matcha tea? Let me know in the comments. We've also got these gin bars for mums who love gin. So they had some gift bags in the last time we were here and I did pick up this beautiful little daisy one for 69p. I thought it was absolutely so sweet. They didn't have this one in last time we came. So this is new, 79p for a Wonder Woman. We've also got these teddy bears. Are they squishy teddy bears? And you colour them in. It's almost like that builder bear, isn't it? Oh my gosh, yes, it's an actual teddy bear that you colour in. That's so good. Lots of Easter crafts keep the kids busy throughout the holiday, as I expect, actually. That's why all this stuff's here, isn't it? I'm such a little grandma. I love shortbread. I do, and jams and scones and tea and teapots. I just love it. I can't help it. There's something about it. I just love it. What's in these little boxes? Oh, oh, they've got like fudge and little treats in these gorgeous little boxes. Look how cute they are. Gorgeous little presentation package in there. Okay, we've got some key rings. We've got this little purple glitter one, which says Nan. And we've also got this pink one, which says Mum. Little gifts for Mum and Nan there. Who doesn't love a keyring? We all love keyrings. So one pound fifty. They've got more keyrings here as well. Oh, this is a good little idea. Always, I think a hamper is a great idea with someone's favourite things in. This seems to be like a skincare and candle. We've got these little teapots, these little glass teapots. How cute are they? Love a cup of tea in a teapot. We've got some mugs as well. Best mum. And then we've got more mugs over this side with Nan on them. You are terrific. We have these three pack of socks, cosy socks for a fiver. We've got more cups up here. Beautiful designs. So many to choose from. Oh, these are really nice. Look at these. And they've got florals on them. Mum's things to do. And then it's got like a ticky box list inside and i love that <laughs> i just love that we've got more easter crafts so much to do in the craft section now i understand that people buy all of this stuff to keep the kids busy 
crafting in the Easter holidays, I expect. So much to do, especially if you've got any creative kids. Like, I used to love art at school. And I would play with this stuff for hours. In fact, I, if you put all this on the table in front of me now, I'd play for hours now. <laughs> Joelle never appreciated any of this stuff when she was a kid. She liked it. She liked because she liked to make a mess and rub it all into carpets and stuff. And yeah, we'd buy her these like craft kits and these craft boxes, and within within minutes. It'd be all over the floor, all rubbed into the carpet, paint on the walls. These are so cute, these little carrots. How nice would these look on a tablescape? We've got more Easter painting eggs, painting bunnies, more Easter crafts and little chicks. And all sorts to do for the children here. So affordable. We've got these Easter bonnets, decorating the Easter bonnet. And this is giving me Nanny McPhee vibes, love it. So on the next aisle, we have a lot of decor, lots of like vase sprays, you know, these sprays of Easter flowers. I don't know what you would call these, sprigs. And like Easter wreaths and door decorations. And just decor in general, they've got these little his and hers, Mr. and Mrs. rabbits. Aren't they sweet? They're really sweet though, aren't they? Love them. And then we've got these garlands, which are quite nice actually, $1.99 as well. Really good for tablescapes again. We've also got these little hanging baskets with pearl style ribbons. And they've got some tulips inside of them, which are quite nice. Some Easter bunny ears at the back there. The flowers look a little bit cheap though, not going to lie. They could have done foam flowers and they would have looked much better. I think we saw these last time, these bunnies, but like why are they made out of like astroturf? Is that astroturf? <laughs> now I understand shelf decor, like the bunnies and stuff and styling shelves and sideboards, but what's this? It says it's a lollipop, but it's a plush lollipop. Oh wow, if I could decorate a little girl's room all over again, this is the kind of stuff that would be in there. <gasps> Look how gorgeously dainty that is. That is so sweet. Oh my gosh, it looks really high end and it's only $5.99. It's absolutely beautiful. Like the detail and how it's made. I'm sure it would have cost more to make this. It's beautiful. So now we've really hit the Easter treats aisle and they have these little iced biscuit pops kind of things, cookie pops are they called, very cute. Okay, so no matter what the season, they do these cookie kits, don't they? <laughs> With the little cookie cutter. Well, they've got bunny ones for the Easter, which are very, very cute. I just love baking. That's what me and Joelle used to do when she was little and we always used to get it wrong. Oh, look at these little bunny baskets. They're so cute. And I like the fact that the seagrass, neutral, you could like fill it with eggs and just have it on the side uh, if you've got lots of visitors and you can give out the eggs for treats. Shall I get one? <laughs> We've got these four grass table runners, which are really cute. Okay, these are really weird. They're, they're mugs, ceramic mugs, and they've got these little lids on them. Aren't they sweet? What would you put in those? Soup? We've got little bunny cake stand for $9.99. Very nice. And then what's this? A little dinnerware set for $7.99. A bunny dinnerware set. And then we have these little Easter glass jars, which are really cute for $6.99. We've even got bunny tablecloths for $3.99 they've thought of everything haven't they but these these I can get on board with look at these $2.99 and the colour is stunning it's an egg cup egg and soldiers I could have swore I had a pair of bunny slippers like this when I was a little girl and then we have these little Easter things and it says wanted to buy you an aeroplane to fly up to Mars and all around the Milky Way. 
We've even got wax melts, Easter wax melts for $2.99. And what flavor is this? Wild orchid. We've got these LED wax egg candles. We've then got these, these look really nice. And then some more bunnies. These are like statue bunnies. And I actually bought into a couple of these last year. They've got some lovely colours. I like this one though, the off-white as usual. I've actually got this boucle one. Favourite aisle, you guys. I just like to smell it. <laughs> and then we've got Zoflora. And they've got the cucumber and mint, the linen fresh as usual. So I absolutely need some oven pride because it's about time I cleaned my oven out. I've always used oven pride. But there seems to be like a lot more options these days available and I always thought Oven Pride was the best. Which one's the best? Lots of dishwasher tablets, fairy liquid and oh, more Zoflora products. Oh, what are these? Tea lights. Oh, I didn't know they did tea lights, but they do now. <laughs> I know they do sachets and other products now. It took them so long, didn't it, to bring out other products. But I'm glad that they did. They've got these as well, wax melts, which are very, very handy. I don't like wax melts, you guys, but I know there's a lot of people out there that use them. Oh, how cute. Look at these little Yankee candles. Very cute. Duvet day. Might have to get one of them for Joelle. So I am in the kitchen aisle and I've just spotted these glasses. So I'm thinking for the future bar, I do want these crystal looking glasses with this kind of design on them. Do you know, not only that, they're really thick glass as well. So they last ages. You know, for that second lounge in my house, well, it's going to be like a gentleman's lounge for Ash. So yeah, these glasses look absolutely lovely, wouldn't they? On a bar cart in that room, whiskey glasses, and then these highball glasses. Anyway, food for thought. Do you know what? I really love this Tom Kitchen range. I've just spotted these flat cast iron um, casserole dishes, and I really could do with one of those. There's no prices on them, unfortunately, though. Oh, look! Guys, they've got these. They, they remind me of like judges' hammers, but obviously they're there to uh, tenderize the steaks, <laughs> aren't they? The crisps aisle in this store is epic, but guys, I'm on a diet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pardon the pun. $1.99. They've got these little tea towels, two pack, and they're really good quality. Wow, they are really good quality. We've got more tea towels as well down here. They're not so great quality. So we are sorted for a mirror downstairs now in our little powder room. But they do have other mirrors and there's some really good ones in this store. Whether you put them outside or inside, I think they, they look gorgeous, both spaces. And then we have some more home decor. I do love these aisles down this end. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got some <laughs> ice cream bunting. It's like plush little ice creams on a string. And I have no idea what you would do with that. I suppose it could be for a birthday. Oh, guys, I am looking for some baskets. These are nice because they're round and you don't, you don't normally see round ones, do you? My house is so masculine in shape sometimes. That's why I added a lot of curves into the walls. And, yeah, so I'm looking for more curved. So these baskets would go really nice in my house. So it's a set of two, apparently, and it's got a lid on them. They look quite nice. And I'm thinking for the boot room. Let's have a little look down here. We've got more baskets, like I said, they're square. I'm seeing a lot of this vase on social media. And then we have these ribbed glass jugs, and I'm tempted. Am I gonna use that or am I not? We've got these bumblebee vases, I quite like these. And then we have some mushroom bunting. <laughs> We've got these, how nice are these? They're like little floral photo frames, very vintage. 
and then we have the four floral stems the flower shop the calling it and this is new in my store and i'm thinking they're doing something really good with this how good does that does these dried stems look they're so nice so we've got one pound fifty for these dried lavender stems we have these throws which are super super fluffy they've got cream and green still looking for some throws for around the house i'll know it when i see it this is not the one it'll get matted these are really nice these giant cushions they're massive they've even got feather inserts you guys and i just love the tassels on the side how nice are they we've got these pizza ovens these are like tabletop pizza ovens stainless steel which are really good if you're not lucky enough to have one built into the garden these are really handy aren't they we just don't eat pizzas enough to have one of these do you know what i mean oh we've reached the garden section so yeah they've started to get all the garden stuff in which honestly it gives me life they've got these gorgeous planters the large one it's only 19.99 like that's really good they've got three different sizes but there doesn't seem to be any prices on these smaller ones unless they come as a three they've got lots of garden statues in as well these fairies and then we've got more statues just the usual buddhas and garden gnomes massive big planter pots i do like the woodland ones so i really can't wait to do the back garden and have some like bird feeders and attract them all into the garden i'll have to do some research won't i on which bird feeder to use there's so many to choose from isn't there oh guys these are giving me the creeps we've got lots of lighting options for outdoors as well they've got the best range i've seen we've got lots of lawn feeders plant feeders grow kits oh wow look at this grow and explore your own wild garden oh they've got um sunflower races how good's that i'm so competitive wow they've got these little potting tables how cute is that for outside oh i love that so you know how i was saying i wanted something specifically from home bargains it's actually one of these do you call it a trough it's a little planter basically a wooden planter and i want it for that window sill for that window area in my kitchen and i want to grow my herbs in one of these because it's on a stand i just don't know why but i think it would suit that space lovely anyway you guys i think i'll measure up before i actually buy it i should have done that before i came so let's get to the tills and get out of here so we're back from home bargains was a bit of a successful trip i did pick up a few bits so i'll show you what i've got here however i did really want to pick up the do you call it a trough it's like a planter wooden planter which i showed at the end of the video however i just thought rather than carry it all the way to car and it not be right when it gets home and i should have done this before i set off i just forgot but um i need to measure the space downstairs so i'm gonna do that and if it's the right size i'll go back and pick it up on the next vlog so you'll see probably if we do get it in the next video but yeah, that's the reason I actually wanted to go to Home Bargains because I've been saying, haven't I, for a while now on my channel that I put a load of stuff back in B&M Bargains. I ended up picking a basket full of stuff up and I thought, do you know what? When I got to the end, I don't even need this stuff. And you guys were like, oh my God, well done in the comments for putting everything back because you realised you didn't even need any of, any of it. And it was like a 30 quid's worth of basket in the store so yeah i didn't care i just put it back because i thought that's 30 quid for something that i do want and this planter is about 35 quid is it 34.99 from home bargains i'd already spotted it before this instance and yeah and i just thought that could pay for that 
And basically off-roading again, but that's the reason why I wanted to go to Home Bargains and pick that planter up. So yeah, we need to measure up and then I'll go and quickly pick it up. And if we do, and it's right, and it's the right fit, we'll show it on the vlog. But I did pick up a few bits from Home Bargain. I got an oven pride because I bet you're sick of hearing me say on the vlogs that I need to clean my oven out, I actually do. So we'll do that on the vlogs as well. So this is a job that I just hate. <laughs> doing i'm sure we all do we don't want to clean the oven out do we and i let it get to a state and i'm sure you can all relate i let it get to a state where then it's really tough to clean it and i, sh I know that i shouldn't but i do because i just put it off and procrastinate anyway it's a state and it needs doing so i've picked up an oven pride and as i said in the shop there's so many um of these like oven cleaners but i'm only used to this one which is always why i go with this because it's like better the devil you know isn't it um yeah but if there's any other really top cleaning products for the oven that will absolutely get off some some i'm not gonna lie i'm i love cooking i'm the messiest cook <laughs> but i think that makes them best food doesn't it <laughs> anyway yeah i got an oven pride <laughs> totally off-roading again Next up, I couldn't resist these because I think they're really, really affordable. So they're £1.50 and they're from the Lifestyle Edit Tranquility range, Dried Lavender Bunch. And there's basically two bunches, well, they come singular, so I got two, £1.50 each, so £3 altogether, a bit of girl math. And yeah, they're dried lavender stems and do you know what? It's got the cellophane on at the moment, but you can smell them. They are so fragrant. There's so much you can do with dried lavender. Just have a type it into Pinterest, dried lavender use. There's so many things you can make, little pouches, um, put them in your drawers so that your drawers smell nice or in your wardrobe, things like that around the house. But yeah, I think I'm gonna collect a few more so we've got a really decent bunch. And I've been looking for, haven't I said, on some of the videos in the past just recently, that I want some like sort of grass, long grass, because obviously we've got tall ceilings, super tall ceilings in this house. So if you put anything on the shelf, there's still quite a large gap between the shelf and the ceiling. And I want to just play around with the heights, basically. I thought these would look absolutely lovely because they're very rustic as well with them being dried. So yeah, I'm gonna collect a few more of these. Every time I'll go, I'll probably pick up a couple more. And I will pop them in a nice vase somewhere around the house. You'll see it all unfold on the vlog, I'm sure. I'm just obsessed with like, for stems, especially around spring, spring time of year. Like I really can't wait to decorate for spring in the house and just bring nature back because I just feel so good surrounded by nature. Oh, I actually got a Mother's Day card as well, but that's downstairs, I didn't bring it up. And then I've got these two little baskets, which I thought were really cute. And as I was saying in the shop, um, you generally find like square baskets, I mean, there's not many circular ones. And with this house being very masculine and square edges, I obviously put a lot of arches in the walls when we're renovating downstairs. And yeah, you can really pop a feminine edge into the house with circular shapes. So I tend to look for circular rugs sometimes for that reason. And I wanted some baskets. In fact, I need loads of baskets for different areas in the house. Let me tell you which ones they are. So the boot room's finished. However, on the shelf above the hooks where we put our coats, I want some baskets up there that really suit that room. So I was thinking these, this bigger one. Now this came by the way, as a set of two one inside of the other like a little russian doll and it was only oh how much was it 5.99 or something like that um and it came like that so um yeah i thought they were really affordable and they're really quite a nice tone of wood aren't they like don't they look really natural and rustic i love that so yeah i might um get a few more every time i go if they've got them in stock and yeah, the big one here might look really nice on the top of the shelf in the boot room. So we can just pop bits and bobs in, you know. So thinking that, and then also in the kitchen island, 
at the moment I've got a plant in there. Um, it, there's a shelf, an open shelf at the edge of the kitchen island. You can see it from the kitchen lounge diner area. So I might put some little baskets in there as well, just to break up that area and make it look a little bit more rustic because the kitchen island's white. It just looks a bit clinical in there. Saying that though, we, we are looking now at floors for downstairs and that's really exciting and tones of wood that we want on the floor and that was gonna really warm that area up and change it completely. I can't wait, I can't wait to get the floors down. So that concludes this video, you guys. On Sunday, I will be back with, excitingly, a cloakroom reveal. We're gonna reveal the cloakroom. We're gonna style it up in that video together as well because I've actually just received yesterday some really exciting deliveries for styling in that room. So yeah, we'll do that together in the next video on Sunday. So hopefully I will see you then. Make sure you subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Always, always leave me a comment down below. And I'm not gonna waffle on anymore. I will see you guys then. Bye.